Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to yet another episode of Gentleman Masterclass. I am your host, Mr. Mark Antimate. Today, I got a very fun video for you guys. I got this very cheap watch right here. This one is from some unknown brand called Biden. That's how they, I guess they're biding their time. So nice, nice little joke there. This is actually how it came inside of this Ziploc plastic that let you know how cheap that it is. Now, the whole reason why I even have this watch, I'm getting ready to re-gift it to somebody and or try to sell it on a Japanese uh, selling website called Mercari. But the story about why I have this, I have a friend that lives next to me. He's not necessarily my neighbor, but he lives very close to me. His name is at Sushi. He'll be glad to see this video. He bought this watch on Alibaba or some type of website like that. I believe it was Alibaba. And he made a mistake in which he thought he was only buying one watch, but he ended up buying like a lot of watches. It was like a set of 10 or something like that. And this was just part of that. So he doesn't wear them all. He only wears very little of them, actually. And this is an extra one that he had. So he knows that I love watches. So for whatever reason... He gifted this watch to me and I, I accepted it. I don't need it. I didn't want to take it, but he wanted me to have it. And he doesn't care what I do with it. So he's aware that I'm trying to sell this watch right now on this Japanese website called Mercari. But he gifted this to me and this is what it is. Inside the United States, I looked it up on Amazon.com. These watches go as cheap as 13 USD. And here inside of Japan, they could go up as high as 6,000 Japanese yen, which is probably only like 45 USD. I don't know why it's so much more expensive here in Japan than it is inside the States, but it's a cheap watch. It, pretty much anywhere you buy it is still going to be a cheap watch. I've never taken it out of this plastic before. This is going to be the first time on video now, so let's let's go ahead and do that. And if I didn't mention this already, this is an automatic watch. So, you have a little, I guess, operating manual. It says, Biden, the time never stops. And this is the instruction manual here. Let me hold it up to that camera. Let you guys get a, get a look at that. And uh, is there anything special inside of this? 24 hour instructions means it's 24 hours. All right, I don't know what the hell this is trying to explain. I'm sure some Chinese person with bad English wrote all this stuff. Watch function introduction. The watch mirror is generally made of mineral tempered glass. Mineral tempered glass is a very high hardness and a high in a hardness slightly lower than that of diamond. Okay, I don't know why we need that. It doesn't even say sapphire. It just says mineral tempered glass. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. And then there's a whole thing about mineral tempered glass on a, even another page. It says 30 meters here does not mean that you can dive to 30 meters underwater, but it can bear a pressure of three kilograms per square centimeter. So it is equivalent to the pressure of 30 me meters in the static state. All right, here we go. About the waterproof. All right, I'm not reading all this stuff. It's just a bunch of junk. You know what? If you if this can be maximized on your screen and you can read all that small fine print, just pause it and read it yourself. It's a bunch of junk on here. All right, that's a, that's a bunch of junk and I'm just wasting your time. So there's that. The whole thing is wrapped in plastic. I'm not going to take all that plastic wrap off, the shrink wrap. Because I am trying to sell the watch in a new condition, so I don't want to take that off. It has, unbelievably, it has an open case back, and I'll try to get some close-ups of that for you guys to take a look at, unbelievably. I don't know why this needs a display case back, because that movement is very ugly. I couldn't tell you what that is. That's like uh, child labor made in the back type of display back. Oh, that's absolutely terrible. Uh, for this might be entertaining for some teenager that likes these big gaudy watches and they see all this, uh, this copper tone 
slash copper tone gold on here that might turn them on and make them feel like they have something expensive. So, I mean, you give this to your teenager or something, maybe they'll like this. I, I don't know who the hell is going to buy this watch for me, but look at that. It even comes with a hang tag there. The hang tag says, Biden, the time never stops, and it has the logo. I want you guys to look this up for yourself on the internet. So this is stopped now, and it is a chronograph, actually. I'm getting ready to wind it. Let me pull this out to the... All right. All right. I'm not trying to set the time. All right, it's winding. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to wind this all the way up, and then we're going to have a bit of fun here. As I still got the time grapher here, we're going to throw it on this time grapher and see what type of time a 13 USD automatic watch 6,000 Japanese yen automatic watch keeps. Let's just hope that I don't wind this thing so far that I actually break it. I hope it stops when it makes it to the end. And let me turn on this chronograph function real quick. Okay, so the chrono's not even moving. This makes... This makes these little chronograph dials jump... I press this button and it jumps, but it doesn't move. So I don't even know the purpose of this. This is this is absolutely weird. This is a bunch of junk. Man, I'm going to have to lower the price. I was trying to sell this for 4,500 yen. But I see now I'm going to have to sell it for like 2,500 yen. Because otherwise, whoever buys this is going to be disappointed that these uh, dials are not working. All you do is just press this and the thing just keeps jumping. That is so weird. Completely weird. Let me see if I can hold it up to this camera. I hope that works. Crazy, crazy. Let me continue winding this. I hear it winding, but man, I really hope it stops. I think it's going to reach the end of the hairspring and then it's going to jump. I don't know what this thing is going to do. Come on, I can't still be winding this thing. No freaking way. It has the stop. It has the stop. It's still winding. I guess, to be honest with you, you just go as far as you want to go. I'm getting a little bit of resistance. All right, it's at the end. It's at the end. I was getting kind of worried there. Yeah, because if I broke this, then nobody's going to want to buy this. Absolutely weird. So these chronograph hands don't even really do anything at all. Uh, the pushers, the pushers, not hands. All right, but it's running. So here we go. Let me get this set up so that... The light is not shining too bright on that. Okay. You guys can read that. I can read it as well. Well, I can't wait to see what this thing runs at. Anybody want to take a guess? <laughs> um, I want to say that this is going to be... This is my personal guess. I've never did this before. Let's see if I'm on the money. I think this is going to be negative 60 seconds a day. Negative 60 seconds. All right. So it's on there. Oh, my goodness. It beats at 21,600 uh, VPH. And it looks like it's running at about, now, let me let it run just a little bit more to see. The beat error is 0 0.2. The amplitude is 268. 
and it's running at plus 19 seconds a day. That's a lot better than what I thought it was going to be. That's, I mean, for, for a $13 watch, it seems pretty decent. I got vintage watches that run a lot worse than this. I mean, well, at least they kind of have an excuse to run worse than this, but because they're like 60 years old, right? This thing is pretty much a brand new watch, but it's so cheaply made. $13 and it's running at plus 19 seconds. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So you guys saw it. I was completely wrong. I said negative 60 seconds, negative one minute a day. I hope you guys were correct with your assumptions. Let's go ahead and take this off. Wow. Look at that. Let me hold it up one last time. Show that off to the camera so that you guys get a good look at this. Wow. Yeah, I'm not going to wear this. The thing is actually quite heavy. Can I get that to focus? No, I can't. Come on. I don't think I have the automatic focus turned on, do I? All right, it is what it is. You saw it, it came, it's going. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Salute to you wherever you may be out inside the world. If you guys found this video entertaining inside the least bit, make sure to leave me a comment and I'll see you guys in the next one. And until next time, keep it classy. I'm out.